most challenging things for me when I left here was um, figuring out who I could get support from and um, just learning uh, to reach out to those people and realizing that I wasn't alone and that I didn't have to do it all by myself. Learning how to um, budget money on my own, um, just getting to places on my own and figuring all that stuff out, um, figuring out just what I wanted to do when it came to classes, going to school, um, finding a job, all that stuff. Some things I would need to help me transition. I need to learn how to drive. I need to go to college, stuff like that. But it's really hard when you don't have the answers right away. Um, I don't know where I will live in the future. It's kind of, I'm in a waiting phase, which kind of sucks most of the time. But for my transition, I am in a waiting phase right now where I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't really know what my options are. What I truly needed to learn myself was to to handle my anger issues and be respectful for other people and to live for myself. Okay. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is there is a lot of disadvantages to being removed from the home. Um, you don't have that safety net to fall back on. Like if you run into any issues like, oh, hey, um, I can't afford a car, you know, like a lot of kids that aren't removed from the home and that are still in their home when they graduate, their parents will help them pay for half a car. They'll teach them how to buy insurance and be responsible, put gas in there. But with being removed from the home, I mean, especially, you know, being foster kids in group home and stuff, a lot of the issues that are worked on is like the behavioral and stuff, so there's not a lot of time left. Like I said, they don't have that safety net to fall back on. A lot of times they can't, they don't get that relationship back with their family when they turn 18. So a lot of times they're on their own and all they have is the support of AMP. If you have somebody telling you how to do something and when to do something all the time, then you end up looking towards somebody to push you. And then when those people aren't there anymore, you're just like, oh, what do I do?